In the OIO prep profile spotlight this week, it's Bass Bo Gross, the senior FCA leader and multi-sport athlete committing to play football at the Air Force Academy this past Saturday. The culmination of a wild recruiting journey. It was definitely a ride. It was really fun. Uh, there was a lot of a lot of stuff to it. You know, we'd have coaches come in, Coach Garland would pull me here and there out of class and just see what kind of coach it was that day. Um, I developed a relationship with the Air Force One in particular. You know, he came to our school. We talked for a while. Uh, we kept going from there. And, you know, I was so glad that, you know, he called me and told me to act all for me. And, you know, I have to commit. Uh, ever since I was young, you know, my parents have been like really high on me about academics and you know that came first and the academy is the best place in the world for that so football was just one of the outlets I used to get there um, that and I get to serve and I get to do what I love and play football so it's the best of all three worlds there I guess. Bo's just a great kid that's developed into a young man uh, you know uh, excellent student but most importantly a good person uh, obviously very self-motivated self-driven a uh, great work ethic, a young man of high character, or Air Force is not going to recruit a kid like that. It's not. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, we was talking to the coaches the other day, uh, the four years he's been here, if he had ever missed any of our off-season conditioning or weightlifting, and the only time we could think that he missed one was when he was at a either a football visit or going to another football camp. So I just saw what a commitment, you know, to our football program and committed to his passion for the game of football. For the Naval Academy when I visited, they just kind of do general courses the first two years and then their junior year they decide what major. Uh, I'll probably major in biology or political science, but it depends if I want to serve. I do make a four-year to nine-year commitment after I get done with the Academy's four years of school. Being accepted into a service academy takes extra work. I just finished an interview this past weekend and I have another one coming up. Uh, I have to do a fitness assessment and then I'm going to go from there. I'm visiting next Tuesday through Saturday, so I get to meet the coaches, kind of get a feel for everything. The senior had a chance to rub shoulders with other college athletes as a counselor at FCA's Legends football camp this past summer. It was really fun working with all the little kids, you know, all the kids around here that have moved on, you know, Dalton Hicks, Zach Gokey, all those kids. It was, it was good seeing them again. All the coaches are great around here. I wouldn't, wouldn't trade anybody of them or any of these coaches for anybody. It was, it was fun. It was really fun working with all the kids, too. And now that his high school football career has wrapped up, Gross helping to start a new team at Bath. Powerlifting with uh, St. Clair. He's from Boise State. That man, oh, he pushes us. Uh, and then baseball, I get to hang with Coach Jesco. Great guy. Coach Gomez, another great guy. It's just, it's fun. It's relaxing. It's relieving knowing where I'm going to go and I'm set in. I can just kind of roll from there. Oh, teammates love him. You know, he's great work ethic. You know, obviously an excellent football player. You know, a guy that's all in and, and you know, they rally around him. Uh, you know, he's voted captain both his junior and senior years. So I tell you what his teammates think of him. And Gross has been involved in the Wildcats Fellowship of Christian Athletes group the last few years. It's done more than just about any other group has for me. Uh, spiritual, you know, you talked about thirst this morning. You know, there's a lot of ups and downs in high school, and, you know, there's a lot of hard things to go through. You know, my dad being the principal and all, it has had some cons to it. So, you know, God really helped me through a lot of this stuff and all this process. You know, if I ever couldn't talk to anybody about what I was feeling, you know, he was always there, always was there for me.